So I was I was talking to my parents about this and being like, I think I found God. Like, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Michaela Pearson is Jordan Pearson's daughter. Many people are saying that uh, she has become a Christian. And I looked at a few articles, our friends over at Protestia, they are reporting that as well as many other outlets. Michaela, yeah, let's hear a little bit of her story. Welcome to episode 117 of the Michaela Peterson podcast. In this episode, I had Seamus, the creator of Freedom Tunes on the podcast with my dad. I hope you guys enjoy it. I've had a lot of personal changes, you could say, in the last few months. My dad's healthier than he has been in maybe five years. My mom is healthy. I'm healthy. I just moved to Franklin, which is south of Nashville, last week rather abruptly. Andre's moving too. Scarlett's coming up and I've set up her room with everything pink. It's been an insane few months, slash 29 years really. I'll do a Q&A soon to update everyone, but things are going really, really well. In this episode, I went into a bit of a description about finding God or God finding me. I'll get into that more in my Q&A because it's been pretty intense. All right. So that is part of her introduction. Today is October 19th. My oldest child turns 30 today. A big day for her. If you appreciate what I do here, consider going to BTWN news.com btwn news.com there you'll see this page here and there will be a yellow bar on the top where you can register your email to receive my newsletter you can also click on the builders summit and find out more about the event i run every year coming up in about three weeks it's not too late to register so check that out and then also you can click on support our ministry and if you do that you will find three different ways to support this YouTube channel via sending a check on Patreon or on PayPal. If you support on Patreon, you will watch all my videos before they drop on YouTube. The full version of the entire video uh, for if you become a Patreon of any amount, you get those benefits. Additional benefits, including how you can get a t-shirt like this uh, given uh, based on which support level you, you give at. So check all that out. Michaela Peterson, <clears throat> interesting young lady. She was on her podcast on YouTube, and I am going to summarize the things that she said first, and then we're going to go and watch it. Unfortunately, she's sitting down in her podcast with a Catholic man who shares from his Catholic background. It was interesting because Michaela calls him out because he said that Mary appeared to him. And also when I was in the midst of this frightening situation, I genuinely believe the Blessed Virgin was there for me. So at this point, I really started taking my faith. What is that? Faith. Sorry, mm -hmm. can, can you pause for a sec? So yeah. I'm, not, uh, I'm not super familiar. I mean, my dad is my dad, but I'm not super familiar with the intricacies of of religion or Catholicism. Mm -hmm. So when you said you believe the Blessed Virgin was there for you, what does that mean? I don't know if she's saved. It'll be interesting to go through the entire clip with you. But first, let me again summarize it for those of you who just want it right up front. She talked about problems in her life, four problems in her life. And then she talked to somebody about her problems and the person said, hey, you got so many problems, what you need is God. He was like, well, how are you managing with all these problems? And I was like, I'm not managing well. I'm really not managing well. Yeah. And he was like, well, that's why you need God. And I said, okay, well, that's fine and dandy. And then within a short period of time, all four of those problems cleared up. So she wondered what, you know, this must be a sign from God. Um, I'm summarizing, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quoting her. So then she had a great two weeks. And then she had two bad days. She's wondering, well, what's the deal here? What's going on? And my take, immediate take on that would be um, God's existence and what God has done through creation, through uh, the incarnation, through uh, the life, death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. None of that is 
verified or proven false based on your experience. The validity of the Bible is not based on anyone's experience. However, <clears throat> you can have experiences in your life. God can use the experiences in your life to draw him to you. But if you don't have these, what you think are positive experiences in light of whether God exists or not, it, does, it doesn't um, verify or nullify the existence of God. So after two bad, after two great weeks and then two bad days, she had a wild dream in which she woke up believing that God had yelled at her for something. I think I can, I think I'm allowed to talk about this stuff, but I had a dream and this loud thundering voice just yelled, do it in the dream. And I woke up at five 30 in the morning and mm -hmm. was like, I think I just got yelled at by God. I think that just, <laughs> and, uh, then the the Catholic young man, uh, he weighs in and talks about being happy as a Christian. You can't be happy or you can't have joy unless you're a Christian. Unfortunately, throughout the entire clip, there's no mention of Jesus Christ. It's not funny, but it's extremely lacking. There's no mention of Jesus Christ. There's no mention of sin. There's no mention of why you would become a Christian. The The good parts are... She mentions that what she's doing right now is reading the Bible and praying. And that is good. Very, very good. So pray for her. And I have to do something that I don't like to do. And that is I'm going to put the rest of this video on Patreon because it won't be on YouTube. And the reason for that is because of the condition of my YouTube channel at this time. I can't risk getting copyright um, another copyright strike. So I am going to put the rest of this video where I'm going to watch a long segment of this video. I have no reason to believe that, uh, Michaela Peterson would give me a copyright strike, but I, I can't risk it right now. So I'm going to put the rest of this video on Patreon and everyone who's part of Patreon, you can see and watch or you can just click on the link in the description of this video and you can go and watch the whole interview, the whole um, podcast. It's uh, about 54 minutes long. You can go watch it all or you can join me over at Patreon and uh, we'll watch it together and I'll give you additional commentary. So let's go and do that.